Wait, we it will Jimmy tell you what a good idea is, lady. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's a pet peeve of mine, not giving proper negative responses. Yes, you, it's always important to neg a bitch. I mean, what? I clearly know what I said. <laughs> well, it depends on who's playing. Uh, I, I am bringing up the game boomers uh, walkthrough of this just so that we can get ourselves a little bit uh, better than being stuck. Do we need the wire to pick up the keys? Let's... But we don't know where the keys are. But how will this help us get wine? N no, no. This is this is gonna be some bullshit. If this if this if this is true. So it's gonna be some bullshit. I think even if your walkthrough is false, it's gonna be some bullshit. <laughs> Oh, for fucking out Oh, for, out <laughs> for fucking out loud, indeed. <laughs> now, which one is him? Yes, it's a lovely wall. Why is it visible? Why did we include this screen? Press the ball. It took her ten years to get some wine. Good point, Giggy. <laughs> you know what, I kind of like it if that was the way to uh, to wrap his door. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that what it means, Giggy? Good hold. <laughs> Alright. Bird investigations. Is he an expert in bird law? No. Uh, yeah, no. You're, you're right, DD. We we um we we may have expected more from the puzzles than it was gonna provide. And did you just use the door handle? I, uh, I, this game okay, is very stateful. Okay. You do things, and other things take effect, and it doesn't tell you. I used that spool of wire on on the ring and put the ring and the spool through the mail slot. And then the door gave up. I get it. <laughs> I mean, so I'm guessing, would I. I'm guessing the wire was very stiff and he hooked it around the deadbolt handle, or she. Yeah, yeah. And turned the so deadbolt first... and now the handle works. So our first crime of the game, trespassing. I mean, he's a dead man. Majoring. Poor dead bastard. Thrillers. This book has got no earthly business in Conrad's library. Oh, judgmental <laughs> Carol, we were waiting when you would show up. <laughs> Carol, I figured this book would best attract your attention. It brought me... Uh, I bought it for almost nothing at a used book sale, but it looks new to me. It was meant for you, and it didn't strike me at the moment that you most certainly had it already, since Jane Austen is your favourite author. Well, why wouldn't she have it then? It's her most popular novel! <laughs> So I kept it. Well, I say he didn't strike him at the moment, so he's like, yeah. he bought it, got a home, and went, oh, fuck, what did I do that fuck for? Yeah. So I kept it and thought maybe it could serve some different purpose. Now, on a more serious matter, since you're reading this, you've probably received my letter, but for some reason I'm not here to fill you in on the details. <gasps> oh, reading stuff out just makes me yawn every now and then. Uh, since you obviously have found a way to into my apartment, you've probably suspect the worst. Let's just hope that I'm alive and well. No, mate, mate, mate. It's this new client of mine that I mentioned in the letter. She's a relatively successful businesswoman, <laughs> and uh, she's been giving me some rather trite assignments for the last couple of months. Most of them have to do with security precautions at her company. Um, recently, however, things have taken a turn for the more dramatic. Since she got this letter from a possible blackmailer, the blackmailer wanted to meet her at the Tower Remains at North Copping. The location didn't strike me as peculiar. Uh, since this is the type of place that one usually chooses. 
Room med is that suitable for the public or even by casual bypasses are to be discussed. She explained to me that she intended to go to the meeting and that she wanted me to be there too, but only in the background. I was instructed not to interfere and not to be seen or heard. It was clear to me that um, she was curious at what the blackmailer had to say. The meeting was uh, to take place at 3 p.m. at that exact time. She, uh, she was waiting on the small road near the tower remains and I was hidden in the tower itself. I'd brought my camera a couple of minutes past three. A car slowly approached from the location. Two men jumped out of the car, ran up to her, grabbed her and pushed her into the car. Within seconds, the car takes off and is gone forever. Uh, it's gone forever. Um, I haven't seen or heard from her after that. I managed to take some photos of the incident, which you'll find here. I'm afraid that they won't be of much help. Since that day, I've spent nearly all 24 hours of the day trying to figure out where she is and what really happened that day. This far, all my efforts have, thus far, all my efforts have been without success. Uh, I have received a death threat advising me to disconnect myself from the case completely. I haven't followed this advice, obviously, but this is the reason why I'm writing to you this note. Uh, considering what happened to my client, take the threat most seriously. I'm sorry, Carol, but I can't give you the name of my client. I'm strictly instructed not to reveal anything about my collaboration with her to anyone under any circumstance, so I leave you no more leads than the photos and my story. Anyway, regardless of if you read this note or not, I hope to see you soon. Conrad. TLDR, I'm dead as hell. I'm dead. Um, find yeah. this bitch. I'm, I'm not going to tell you who she is. Thank you for the plot dump, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Kiki has opinions. The plants in the attic are constantly need of watering. Will you do this? Yeah, it's not a question. Well, of course, we're like gonna that. we're gonna put the case aside and water those fucking plants. Hmm. I do like that one. So, it costs me nothing because your favorite author is shit, Carol. <laughs> You're a garbage person. You be garbage. <laughs> Meet Emmett at St. John's Graveyard. St. John's Graveyard. St. John's Graveyard. Oh, ek. Oh, no. Trousers. St. <laughs> John's Trousers. St. <laughs> John's Trousers. Hey, the, that is a like... sacred hymn, and I will not have you besmirching it. Oh, no. Yeah, we haven't got the clue for that. Oh, our first colour puzzle, there we go. What well, if we take 1958 into this? And Carol Reed's list of tele telephone erotica. <laughs> That's what she you does love a nice phone. Yes. You are, Dee Dee. We need to keep our eyes off for Who socks. has a framed picture <laughs> of a set of keys? <laughs> Who does that? Carol Reed does? No, I don't. Carol Reed's friend does that. So if I turn this on, can I now grab the key? No. I turned off the lamp. I can magically reach into the picture now. Wouldn't put it past this, honestly. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was like, I will try it. No, I can't find anything of use here. But there's so many jackets! I don't know what... I don't know what jackets are. Sweden isn't cold or anything. Go to St. John's. Oh, hi. Physical interaction. Hello, friend. Oh, it's Jonas. Who? Conrad, what? This is Carol's Never boyfriend. Except, obviously, didn't know him yet. So, me cute and five, four. Maybe so, I and your first option is to use it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Calm down, Carol. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's go out with me yeah. or I cut you. No, no, Jonas isn't dead. We, we saw him in, yeah. in episode 15. He was at the cafe for half the game. Yeah. Well, let's propose him right now. Maybe I offer him a bottle? No, oh, okay, fine. Yes. You know, the way to this man's hot through his stomach, so... And he will wait hours and hours for it. <laughs> and he will bend over for, for Dover? I don't know what... 
<laughs> he decided to date her after she tried showing a full inventory into him. <laughs> I mean, I would, wouldn't you? <laughs> That, that's how you date. It's just I've never had a full inventory. That's my problem. You can only date when you are over encumbered. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, now we can't get out? That's no, that was a side door. These candles are obviously for sale. These candles are obviously for sale. These candles are obviously for sale. <laughs> Why is everything, everything she can repeat? Like, almost like it's... Oh, God. Someone needs to remix all of the carol reads into a song. <laughs> Edgar Third, if you're watching this. <laughs> Hello, Janie, if you are watching this. And now the sounds of carol read. These candles Two are for bars sale. of music in These various stock sizes. These candles are for sale. St. John's Graveyard. St. John's Graveyard. St. John's, John's Graveyard. Cool. Swedish thumbs. I mean, it's literally a pop music played on a different instrument. Oh, oh. no. These puzzles. I, I, are you gonna play? Are you gonna play the seventh guest one? No, Stephen. No. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. I have a feeling that's the reason why we have that sound book available, so we can pick a music. Oh, oh, oh! Don't mind if I do. Carol, dealing See, from a church. We robbed the museum in the last game. I guess this time we, this time we rob a church. Oh, that's the security alarm. Get out of here. <laughs> they have the same sound for everything. No, come on, come on. You're kidding me! So just, just one, one side, side door. Door. I think it was here, yeah. Well, the organ was chained up. Maybe there's a padlock on that. We can steal the entire organ. Just wheel it out <laughs> yes. of here. I think. I forget how it goes after that. Yeah. The thing is that none of these are like circled, so I don't want to just like play all of them. Yeah, and and if this is the puzzle, then. Yeah, I was going to say, if this yeah. is the puzzle, then fuck you if you don't read music. Yeah, sure. I don't even know what filter this is. Like, certain parts of it are just starting to repeat. Okay, oh. turns out we can go and do something else first. Just Please. gonna take this key from the church. Sure, they won't mind. Please tell me that key doesn't work on this car, because that would be some ludicrous shit. Yeah. Okay. There is some sense. No there is a madness say. to this madness. Turn right and go forward to the blue Volvo. Oh, hang on, we didn't pick up the car keys from his apartment. That would be why. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you, Clam Fandango. <laughs> He's just fucking said that! <laughs> no, I can't find anything of use here. Where, where are these? Um... Oh god. Did you see Grundy on Twitter doing the Half-Life 2 opening speech? No! <laughs> uh, 
and you wouldn't have seen uh, Rebecca re replying in kind. Oh, no. It is, it is amusing. And I was half tempted to reply to it as uh, Matt Berry doing the same thing. <laughs> For no I'm particular right. reason, then, that's the first voice that came to mind. Possibly thanks to all this. Look at the telephone. Above the telephone is a small cabinet with tar keys. So that is a cabinet. Oh, <laughs> Open the cabinet <laughs> and take the... What about on the side? There it's we go. Catch on the side. We thought that ah. that was a photo all that time. Uh, Who does that? <laughs> Who it wasn't does for that? this fucking filter. <laughs> I mean, this is just... I'm seeing some shit here. Yes. God damn that sorcerer. <laughs> 